should have checked if I got experience for not fighting that guy. Interesting. Better see what that crowd's about. What if the giant comes this way? Please, everyone stay calm. The man at the center uh the man at the center of attention appears to be fielding inquiries from both the gaggle of townsfolk gathered around the platform and a rather severe looking Amawa woman standing beside him. Please, everyone remain calm. I assure you I will do everything in my power to get you the answers you need. Our friends among the Huana uh. have offered you hospitality and safety from the storms. The Amawa woman folds her arms. Yes, yes. I think we are all keenly aware of the debt of gratitude we owe to the... I have personally seen to the safety of your homes. Now you will do the same for our families. What about our families? What about the ships? How are we supposed to feed ourselves? If everyone would... As Clario's gaze sweeps across the crowd, it falls be upon you where it remains. A few more heads turn to see what has caught the governor's attention. It's one of the pirates. At this alarmed cry, the whole of the crowd turns to regard you. A startled, expectant hush falls upon the gathered strong. Passionate. Shady. <laughs> I'm not a pirate. Everyone stay calm. I think it's clear our guest is nothing of the sort. Two of my guards reported a ship flying deer wood in colors, fallen prey to a private vessel. That would be your ship, I assume. Crowd quiets somewhat at that, though you still find yourself the target of a few glares. That would make him lucky. Your own vessels do not usually fare so well. Woman regards you with bland curiosity. Quite. Oh, <sighs> these are very interesting. Um, I, I like that. I like that. If I was all that lucky, I, I wouldn't have crashed here. Perhaps not, but I suspect some good can come of this. Perkin Plank, everyone, forgive me. I believe this matter requires my attention. You have my word that I will keep you apprised of any changes. Especially you, Mr. Ekawa. Do not flatter me with Valian titles. You are distracted with your newcomer and wish me gone. But I will not go far, Governor Clario. Grade. As for you, stranger, let us speak at my estate. We'll discuss your predicament. Okay. You got a means of repairing your ship. Talk to the dude. I am for friendlier fires. If you would speak, seek me out in our village. Doty? Accept the light, and you shall be redeemed. A woman shouts, arms raised high and wide. In each hand, she grips a golden candle and, or a golden candle. The flames gutter wildly as she gestures to the crowd before her. The missionary holds a candle to drip wax in the shape of three stars on the forehead of each kneeling worshiper. One of them stumbles back, swiping the hot wax from his skin. Se futito, madicchio, I did not sign up to be burned. Uh, watch from within the crowd. The priestess trembles her arms, face pinched with disappointment. In the warm sea breeze from the port, 
Loose strands of her sun-streaked hair whip about her head like a living halo. This flame is not for purification. It is for illuminating the darkness. Sanctification comes only as a result of your journey. But the light will guide your way. She tilts her face toward the sky. Eyes shut, she drags a shaky hand of dribble wax across her own brow. Aethys has returned at last, but it's not too late to redeem ourselves. As surely as my fingers are webbed, I tell you, gone, never left. Despite her contrary words, the Huana woman shr shrugs, accepting the golden wax. Sakes alive, Wangliss. Ain't we got more pressing matters to attend to than a baptism? Arms crossed over her chest, a shorter, duskier woman watches the ritual with an ordinary sort of expression, her delicate chin jutted up. We just missed one of the biggest reapings of all time. What about the souls that need us? As she steps forward, she reaches for a peculiar-looking lantern strapped to her hip. Do not push me on this, you wayward child. You'd leave the living for Lauren to service the dead? Rather than discouraging the other Dawnstar, the accusation seems to kindle a stubbornness inside her. Shoulders set, she grins. Here, I'll light them all at once. Metal clanking, she sways an eerily lit lantern in the intricate pattern before her. The priestess bites her lip, swinging harder and faster. Lithe arms, hurtling the weapon with a deceptively hidden strength until she thrusts it hardward out toward the crowd, splattering everyone with wax. <laughs> uh, that's one way to do it. Hell yeah it is. I call that the... Grinning, she turns to get a good look at you and promptly chokes. Are you by any chance looking to help the people I saw die in my dreams? She ducks her head, cheeks flushing prettily. I'm guessing you're not here for the baptism. Hmm. So what if I was? No, I don't think you are. You got this feeling about you. Like you got a greater purpose to see to. She tilts her head and smiles, looking too confident for her own good. Um... You dreamed people died? Sure did. I get those kind of dreams sometimes. The ones that turn out true. Nightmares more like. Terrors that come true. She rubs a palm over the back of her neck. Had them since I was a little girl on the farm. Guess Gone was speaking to me even then. Some of our brethren suffer from these visions more than others. While some of us, favorably, have none at all. It ain't a curse. It's a blessing. A mark of the divine. Dodi shrugs. Uh, I'm looking for an Adra statue. Yay high, inhabited by aliens. Uh, how about we go with what happened here? It's madness, right? Who'd have thought a giant green statue might storm through the port? At the memory, her pupils gobble up the warm brown of her eyes, and the remaining darkness gleams wickedly. I did. I dreamed it for months, again and again, and night and day, until I pushed the others to come here. We told the governor, but he wouldn't evacuate on account of me, uh, not knowing exactly when our god might arrive. No one believed it, but how could we know? Owen wrings her hands before wiping trembling, wax-smeared fingers down the sides of her robe. Uh, I'm looking for the address statue about Yehi inhabited by Eothis. I knew it! She clenches her grip on the sickle in her right hand. Gon's been calling me here. Left the breadcrumbs in my dreams. I need to get inland. If you're going, I could help you. Swear on my soul. What does that do again? Why do you want to go inland? There are souls needing their last rites. I ought to shine them the light, else they might get lost. Enough nonsense, Jyoti. No one knows if anyone's even died. You've no business going in there, risking your own safety, risking our mission. 
Wangleth, you guide the living and I guide the dead. Gone bids it and I dreamed it. Leave it be. We all serve our purposes. So what's yours? Fucker. <laughs> uh, I'm a watcher. So you can see souls? <laughs> That's a handy talent to have. I know my harvesting would benefit from it. And here you are, following my god. Watcher, will you take me with you? Hmm. I don't I don't know what this this is. But I'll take it. A fine proposition. I'd enjoy the company of a priestess. I know an offer rare as hen's teeth when I hear it. Yeah, I'm taking it. She beams brightly. You won't regret this. Regretting it already. She steals a shy glance at Edder. Uh hey. Edder half nods without looking in Jyoti's direction. He seems suddenly focused on something in the distance. A tad too eagerly, she saunters close beside you. At least take care, child. Come back to us in one piece. If not for my sake, then Sawin's. The older priestess sighs, shaking her head. So don't tell her. What the hot priestess doesn't know won't hurt her. Grinning, Jyoti waves her brethren a curt parting. Uh, I think monks don't sound very good at all, so you're just gonna be a full-blown priest. New party members. Alright, well you have Arcana, and I think we're doing good on Arcana. But why don't we... I still don't have anybody for mechanics. Alchemy deals with the natural and supernatural properties of plants, body parts, and gemstones. Affects the use of all drugs, poisons, and antidotes. I guess we'll keep that. And then for passive... I think we'll go with religion. Alrighty. And you're a gone person. Okay. That's kind of bad. I guess I'm not too worried about her doing damage. But, uh, oh, she already, she already has that spell. I can choose something else. Um. Probably gonna go with barbs. Go with barbs. Got a new party member. Heck yeah. You watch over her, you hear? That's one of ours whose fate you've taken into your hands. I will. For God's sake, I don't need Nanny and Wangleth. I've reaped more with my two hands than you'll dream in a lifetime. And you've pride in that? Head shaking, she turns to you. Do you see why she needs guarding? You must shield her light. Do not let her lose it. Or her life. Do you seek a blessing from the light? I would like a blessing, yes. The priestess's entire expression brightens, lit by a holy righteousness. You chose wisely. Endurance is the path to perfection. Hand me your palm. I give her my hand. We'll strengthen your spirit through tribulation. Woman snatches for your wrist with a fervent strength. Her fingers are cold, unrelenting, and tight. But the candle flame that she presses to your skin is white hot. 
instantly singeing. This flame lacks the flicker of guidance, but it will purify both flesh and soul. Let the pain absolve your sins. I hold the hand over the flame. An acrid smell salts your nose as smoke curls up from your skin. The pain is a constant jabbing, the tip of the flame needling at your nerves until your fingers begin to shake uncontrollably. And now for the benediction. What I speak, you repeat after me. Godly redeemer and bringer of light, who shepherds his flock through the labyrinth of hell. Though you currently rest in peace, we remain devoted until the time of your revival. We believe in your coming rebirth, in the restoration of your holy greatness, and we now beseech you Keep hand, uh, keep the hand there. The fire continues to eat the flesh through flesh and muscle, digging into the bone. At her points affably in approval. To banish the shadows of the unfaithful and wash away the sins of our past. <laughs> yeah, we got the religion part. Woo! All right, we're going to repeat it all. Without so much as movement from either of you, the flame suddenly sniffs out. Wingless nods and rubs a glob of wax into the wound. Good. The light accepted you for its host. Go and be well. Walk within the light, and you shall not falter. With a flick of her fingers, she splatters you with golden wax. Okay, so I guess... I guess this is like a faction, and I'm major positive. May Aethys's light shine upon you. Or something. The dog gives a single quiet whine. Its stub of a tail wags excitedly. Let's pat the dog. Dog narrows its eyes contentedly as you pat it for a few moments. Okay. Uh, we need to redo this. Uh, I guess I don't know her equipment. She has a sickle. I Means she's gonna be up in people's faces. Interesting. Plus two all restoration power levels. Oh, ho, ho. Plus one of each monk resource per kill. That's not, I don't really care about that. Is this a one? No, that's two handed. Well done. Dock worker, commoner, commoner. Go talk to this guy. What marvelous carvings! Oh, yes, this one is many centuries old. Blessed by Ngati herself. Magnificent! You have to do something! Any of us could be next! Oh? I cannot imagine who might wish to harm you, Mestre. Per complanca. Don't tell me you're here to complain, too. Guardsman covers his face with his hand, groaning. Tivirus, are they recruiting right off of the docks? You would think the Juana were storming the Kraken's eye as we speak. <laughs> Actually, I would like to complain. You're being very rude. Ach, and I will be ruder still. If you have no business with Rinko, move along. <laughs> I was hoping you'd be able to help me, actually. Ach, you and everyone else, speak with Commander Savia at the jail, if you want a sense of how matters stand. He points a finger to the east. What's going on? A fight, Mestre. One of the Juana women attacked a merchant. 
He has come out the worst for it. He jerks a thumb toward the nearby door. Now every nationality in town wets himself in terror of losing his coin to the Almawa. We would bring in the thief, but Clario would not have us march into the village and defend Ikawa. Much longer, and I do not think any of us will have a choice in the matter. If you wanted the details of it, speak to Rinko himself. He will delight in telling you the tale. Armo makes a sharp, frustrated hand gesture and turns away. Let's go talk to Rinko. I'm keeping Papa company till he's better. I did not get a uh, indicator that I was stealing right there. I'll handle this. Well, I'm just going to keep looting this. your house. I'll handle I'll take care of this. I got it. Uh, who's there? Well, that must be the stealing. Yeah. Sorry, is that you? Wait, who are you? Figure in the bed as a young valiant man. The first thing you notice is that he seems to have been severely beaten. One eye is nearly swollen shut, and where his skin is revealed is a patchwork of livid bruises. He groans and winces as he props himself up, glaring up at you with one good eye. You look like you already got a foot in the grave. She thumbs the cage of her lantern thoughtfully. Come to laugh? Madiko, this would not have stood in Ozia. He yanks at the bedsheet, trying to cover himself. Huh? What is this? History. Sure. Uh, in Ozia, there'd be a crowd in here to taunt you. Inko barks a short laugh, then immediately winces. What is that? Worldly. Jyoti nibbles on her lip to hide a spreading smile. Maybe you are right. So you are visiting. What do you want? What happened to you? The Swana. They are an unreasonable people. I was enjoying a night of cards when one of them attacked me out of nowhere. I had not spoken a word to her. The mad devil. Look what she did to me. My ear. He turns his head and you see that there is a scabbed over notch where a chunk of his flesh has been torn away from his left ear. When the fighting is over, she takes my coin purse and strides away, bold as anything. Hmm. Uh, yeah, you should always ditch the jewelry before a fight. I was deep into my cups. It was not a fair contest to begin with. The governor lets the Juana do as they please, and this is the result. I should be out there, helping to find our people. My wife, Zeneta, she... she is out there, and I... He gestures feebly with an arm, grimacing. Listen, I am without other means. She took my coin purse, my wages. How am I to pay the governor? How am I to feed my son? His already bruised, purpled face reddens further. That woman should be in the stocks. The guards do nothing. But you, you've heard me out at least. Do me the kindness of retrieving that coin purse, and I will give you what I can spare. Uh, maybe I can reason with this woman. Where should I start? They call her Mokeha. I imagine she's back in her village, feeling proud of herself, no doubt. Follow the road as it bends north. 
then west. You can't miss it. A pile of sticks and straw. With that, he sags back against the mattress, clearly exhausted. Okay. I'll, uh, I'll loot the stuff that's not stealing. I, I, I don't, I don't read this stuff. I'm just gonna slowly, not so slowly, just go through it. I'm sure, this stuff is super interesting and absolutely fantastic, and all that other good stuff. Real quiet now. That appears to be Earthang. Okay, still looking for the governor. I don't have any mechanics, regrettably. Ah, yes, there you are. As governor and under the auspices of the Balian Trading Company, please allow me to officially welcome you to Port March. He spreads his hands in a subdued flourish. I'd like to say the pleasure's all mine, but I try not to lie. Don't worry, I'm only here on account of him. She bobs her head in your direction. Of course. I see you've been as quick to involve yourself as ever. Theria's tone is polite, but there is a strained edge to his wide smile as he turns from Jyoti to address you. Apologies for that little drama outside. These are confusing times, and people often react poorly to uncertainty. Between the storm, the pirates, and the, well, certain strange events, we are all a little on edge. Spreads his hands in, a, in an apologetic gesture. Colonist. Dissident. Drifter. Passionate. Um... Strange events? A few... Well, quite a few people here in Port Marge claim to have seen a giant of some kind during the storm. Aria winces. I would call it a flight of fancy, but unless something has tainted every well in the region, I do not think it can be ignored. But then, the Dead Fire is a land full of such things. You must have heard the stories. A giant? Where did it go? Why, I haven't the slightest idea. Wherever giants go, deep beneath the waves, with luck. Now, to the matter of your ship. You're stranded, are you? It was a rough landing, by all reports. Unfortunately, our own ships are in no condition to sail. We've had dealings with the pirates ourselves. They've taken their share of supply ships. The storm saw to those birthed in the harbor. All that said, I believe I may have a solution, provided you're willing to help me in turn. <laughs> I like number four a lot, but I'm gonna go number two. Uh, what could I do for you? I just got here. Indeed which means I can spare you 
whereas I cannot spare the guards. I have the guards on the lookout for pirate vessels looking to take advantage of whatever damage the storm caused. We've cannons enough to see them off, but I need every man ready to use them. There is a site of some considerable value elsewhere on the island. A value to the trading company, you understand. In point of fact, it's the very reason any of us are here. You're familiar with the luminous Adra trade? Uh, I know that Luminous Andra is native to the Deadfire. It's also quite valuable. When refined, it sells for considerable sums. The trading company has invested a lot of time and money into locating sites suitable for mining and processing. I don't know if you can hear those birds outside, but this is the, the struggle that I have to go with. They just, they just don't shut up. Uh, how does one go about refining Adra? How indeed. That, I'm afraid, will remain a trade secret. We, and I hope you understand that these matters require some discretion, have one such outpost on the other side of the island. A successful venture, up until very recently. We sought to improve the refinement process. To that end, we hired some of the brightest minds in the field of animancy and brought them out here to lend their expertise. And then one evening, a storm rolls in out of nowhere, and my scouts begin to report that the giant has marched its way across the island towards my dig site? What am I to make of that? We haven't heard from Mestre Odorisi since, nor any of his assistants or the workers. I must know what has happened. If Odorisi, if his work is lost, then everything that we have worked for is at risk. Which is where you come in. You need a ship, I need information. See to this for me, and I'll set half the town to work. We'll patch up your ship, and you'll be free to go on your way. Uh, if I find this Odirisi? Why, take his report on the situation and remind him that he's under certain contractual obligations. And relay my deep relief at his good health, of course. Uh, I can do that. Gilad, then we are agreed. I will assign men to keep watch over your ship. You will find the dig site on the eastern side of the island. I'll mark it on your map, here. You'll do it for the Watcher, but not for me? I'll see how it is. With a discontented sound, she crosses her arms over her chest. Yes! <clears throat> Why wouldn't I want a pack of dawn stars crawling over my Adra mine in search of their lost deity? Sario darts a quick, sour look in Jyoti's direction. One more thing. If you should recover Odorisi's notes, know that they would be of great value to me. Understandably. Am I able to see, like, people's stats? I don't think I want to steal anything just yet. As tempting as it is. I don't think I can pull that off. Do your berry sucker? Oh, this is the jail. Nothing without more 
my gods. Yes. What is it I can do for you? The watch commander looks up at you after her listless greeting, and you notice that she has a dark bruise around one eye. She grimaces, but does not turn away. Uh, I don't see many guards around. We are stretched thin. The storm speaker did much to help, but much of the town has flooded. Now we are awash in homeless citizens and stranded merchants, to say nothing of the cultists out there. Tavia glances up at Jyoti, expression flat, but keeps silence. Or keeps silent. Now I have Ilari's people making trouble up on Gorechi Street. His little gang is looting everything they can get their hands on, and the Bozzo kicks up his heels like a prince. Lucky for you that I'm around. I, uh, humbly offer my services. Let me out and I will bring you this Ilari's teeth. Shot it, Rigere. Something you wanted? I could go speak to this Alari. Kue, I cannot say it would not be welcome, but you are only recently arrived, and not I here by choice. Why do this? Hmm, I got a lot of options here. Um, I like option three. Going with option three. Seems only sensible to be on good terms with the commander. And you are a sensible man, I see. Fair enough. Gorechi Street is in the western part of town. Just walk until you hit water. We don't need a bloodbath. I'm sure there's a peaceful solution to resolve this. I'd appreciate your looking for it. What happened to you? What happened? I showed the drunken fool more patience and respect than he deserved, and he struck me without warning. Sientere, Savia. You know that I was aiming for Darmo's pretty face. How are things here in Port Maje? We lost no one to the storm, but many homes have been damaged, and the people are terrified of this giant the scouts reported. It is chaos, pure and simple, but things might have been far worse. Farewell. Ado, stranger. Or is it captain? You have the carriage of a captain. A noble bearing all around. The man in the cell wobbles slightly as he steps forward, fixing an eager smile and glassy gaze upon you. Apreta, you must free me. I am a creature of the sea. I am not meant for this dark place. I will dry and wither like a landed fish. Uh, do you know your way around a ship? Do I know ships? He asks. <laughs> I know every vessel on these waters, every one. From the galleon to the... to the... Every one of them, sir. You have enemies? These fists will drive them into the waiting arms of the sea goddess. What did you do to get in here? I did no one any harm. I am at the Kraken's eye, so often Thorl should pay me. I sample every bottle for quality. My loyalty has given him heirs. I would have paid what I owed in time, had I the coin. You walked out on a tab, Rigere. Nothing to boast of. And then you crawled up to the governor's estate, pissed on the steps, and resisted arrest. Merla, I do not remember that at all. <laughs> right on the steps? I am sorry for the last. I tell you, Savia, I cannot help my magnificent reflexes. You were being very grabby. I could use you on my crew. What do you need me to do? You see how fate has brought us together? The ice-hearted guard. She has set my fine at 400 pyres. I have none. I flounder here until the debt is paid. Any suggestions on how to get you out of here? A matter of coin. 400 beautiful coins. That or the key, yes? The door is the thing. Rigier Jerry 
I, I forget how to pronounce his name, leans in to wrap his fingers around the bars of a cell, rattling them to no effect. He sets his forehead to the bars, sighing. The commander, she guards the keys like a jealous wife. It would take steady hands to slip it from her pocket. That is, if you have need of keys at all. He turns a finger in a small in small circles by the lock and winks clumsily at you. You think me idle to ask this of you and do nothing? I have scratched, sir, a little mortar from beneath the bars at the window at every chance. The uh, stonework, it is very strong. I can do nothing by hand. With tools, perhaps. With uh, explosives, for certain. Norgund, in the Kraken's eye, he carries many such useful items. All for legitimate use, of course. Animancers, they love explosives. He raises his brows and grins toothfully. Farewell. Okay. Um, I think it was Jay to visit the journal. Alright, so we gotta free this guy. 400 bones. Pretty expensive. Considering that's basically all of my money. But this guy could potentially be a new party member. And it seems like we're going to get into some fights pretty soon here. So there's that. Um, he's, he's a monk though, which... Maybe he'll be something else. Maybe he'll be like a barbarian or something like that. Uh, let's go ahead and, uh, let's, let's do a hard save. We haven't done one of those. Keeping out of trouble? A little jest. What is it? Any chance you'll lower Rigreri's fine? Ecosi. Why should I do that? To show my appreciation for his aim? Rigeri is a drunk and a fool. Do not trouble yourself on his behalf. Something you wanted? Hmm... I'll give. I'll pay it. Diverus. Well, good riddance to him. It's your coin to spend. Davia pulls a ring of keys from her pocket and moves towards the cell door. So much money. Grasima, Captain. See you at your ship. Wait, you're not. Grasima, Casita, for taking me on. You're not a party member. You're a crew member. That's disappointing. Oh well. What are you gonna do? Well, on a city map, you can select a box to use port shop and resupply your ship. Press the I guess, face button in the lower center of the screen or use the C key to bring up the character sheet. Select the reputation tab to view your character's earned faction and community reputations. Factions will display how much positive reputation you have with a blue bar, how much negative reputation with the red bar. Fascinating. Um, where am I supposed to go? Jay? Can't do anything with Jay. Alright, Gorici Street. Northwest of Port Maggio. So I guess maybe there? Not sure. Let's go to Gorit no, let's let's go up here. Maybe we'll find like a new party member up there or something like that, and then we can wrap back down around. I have a feeling we're going to get into a fight.
I'll take care of this. Not that deal. The Amawa woman steps sideways, angling herself towards you and meets your gaze with an intense stare. I do not know you. Her voice is quiet, but each word is clipped and harsh. You were looking for Akawa? <laughs> Interesting. Uh, Rinko says you robbed him in a card game. Rinko? He scoffs in a guttural burst of sound. The Valian? You jest, Akira. I should have thrown him into the sea. He dares to call me a thief? Hmm. Uh, why don't you tell me what really happened? What else? The Valians are fools. But Akawa wishes to trade, so we must be patient. We must save them from Nagati's storms. Even when they ignore our advice. Ikawa told me I should see the tavern. Speak with their people. Learn patience. The traitor, Eofania, she taught me to play Valian cards. A simple game. But none would play with me in the tavern. Not until Rinko. I thought him kind until I proved the victor and he grew angry. Until he stood in front of his kin and called me a Mataru of Sadahuzi, A filthy islander and a cheat. For that, yes, I beat him. Why does this concern you? Hmm. You told the guards you've been branded a thief. I am no thief. Do you mean to insult me? I am Mataru. I am the guard in Sadahuzi. I defend this village. If I see fit to punish a man, it is my duty. If a Valiant broke Huana law, would you be satisfied with a fine levied by the governor? That, that is not the same. This has long been our island. Mokewa scowls at you. Thoughtful, Zoti rubs a knuckle along the edge of her jaw. Um... Without that coin, Rinka will lose his home. Don't be foolish. Clario will see to him. That isn't how it works. The Valians have to pay for their food and pay taxes. What is this? His kinsmen would let him starve? Okewa's brow furrows and her eyes search your face. Why did this not prevent him playing at cards in the first place? Are all Valians so mad for coin? So then, what am I to do? I did not wish him dead. <laughs> oh, that is... Oh, 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 that is so mean. Um... Give me the coin purse and we'll call it square. Huh. Then here is what you came for, though it is an uneven trade. She considers the coin purse in her hand for a moment before handing it to you. Her mouth twists with a resentful frown. I will ask our chieftain to send a healer for that idiot Valian. Perhaps that will quiet his whimpering. Hey, 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 level up. Alrighty then. Um, I'm gonna continue going with the Arcana, and I'm gonna continue going with the diplomacy because diplomacy has been doing some hot work for me right now. We are level three, so we get access to many whelps. Oh, I have two points. Oh, snaps. There's a loud noise going on outside. Okay. We're definitely going to go with that.
Uh, oh, here we go. This is another summon. I'm just going to choose all the summons. I didn't know I got two skill points. That's pretty cool. All right, level up. All right, keep boosting that athletics. Go survival. Okay, we want to give him the stances for sure. All right, he gets two points as well. What is this? I'm not too crazy about that. I like that though. I guess more abilities though is pretty nice. Except I, I'm giving him that. Let's do uh, this graze one. Allowing him to convert grazes to hits on any weapon attack or any attack made with a proficient weapon. We'll keep it. Level up. Alright, so we'll go alchemy, religion. And we automatically get this one, which is super good. Bit inspiration. Interesting. Probably gonna go with that. Well, Pillar of Faith does some big damage. We'll go with that. Oh yeah, we get two. We get two. Go with both, I guess. to you. Seated upon a chair before the bonfire, Ikawa looks considerably more comfortable here in her home village. She prods absently at the coals with a long stick. Ikawa's lined face is po pocked. I was, like, for some reason I was thinking like pocketed, but pocked with fading scars, but there's no hostility in her calm appraisal as you approach. Or appraisal. They told me what became of your ship. I say again that you are lucky. It is the only ship that survives. I could protect Port Mage, or else its ships, but not both. Perhaps Clario thinks I chose poorly. Hmm. Hmm. Let's see. Why do business with the Valians? Akira, do not all people trade for the same reason? The Valians have brought us guns, medicine, wine, and food. Some of them we have even convinced to help with the canoes. My people have come to enjoy these things. The medicine has helped many of the children recover from fever. We gain from this peace. So long as Clario keeps his company masters away, we lose little. Did your people see the giant? Yes, one of the old titans, say the priests. Andra is angry, though why, our priests do not know. I am only glad it has journeyed elsewhere. A titan? Ngati, Andra's realm, harbors many great beasts. 
They say the ancestors of the Kahanga tribe and so their queen hold pacts with such creatures. My priests wonder if this is her doing. Did your people see the giant? Why is that not great? Yes, one of the old Aethys. Is it redemption you seek then? You risk much to chase a god across the sea. The Dawn Stars too wish to meet this god. What if he does not wish to be found? Can you help me free my ship? Yes, but it will take Clario's assistance. Convince him, and I will aid you. Why wait on Clario's word? You are one of his people now. It falls on him to protect you. Yes, one of the old titans. Which way did it go? Priest. I do not know. Most fled the sight of it, and Clario has provided little information. This was the subject of our argument. Perhaps he will tell you more. Okay. Got any loot? You do, but it'll be stealing. Now I don't want to steal anything. Oh, now I've dreamed of this place. What else we got? I don't know what the sound is, but it's crazy. All right, looks like we're pretty good at, from this place. Don't worry, the vision's passed. Okay, yep, looks like we're good. Just grab some of this other stuff and get out of here. A mirror's winds blow sweet upon you. I'd like to get out of here, please. Thank you. Let's head to Gorechi Street. It's hot. As you make your way along the side streets of Port Maje, you come up upon visible traces of the storm's passing. Many of the houses here boast cracked window panes and sagging awnings, and you pass narrow streets strewn with foliage and debris. The cobblestones beneath your feet are still slick with water and silt. Before long, you are ankle deep in sucking mud and loose stones. The flooding only worsens up ahead, where the water level rises to the knees. Most of Port Maji's residents have fled this region for dry land. But the murmur of raised voices ahead and the occasional splash suggests that you are not entirely alone. Something must be wrong with my vision. No matter how much I blink, I, I cannot make out more than blurry lights in the darkness. But you, you are quite blinding. I'm sorry, but you're dead. Come with me. I will help, or I'll help you. Dead? Oh, but this is terrible. Spirit sighs, wispy shoulders slumping. Let me ease this one's pain, Watcher. Dark eyes solemn, Jody circles her lantern around the departed soul. Oh. 
your enemies. Welp. Uh, uh, summon some skeletons. All right, getting bodied. We're losing folks. Mm -hmm. Lake now. Getting bodied. Hidden objects can be discovered while exploring. A character's ability to discover hidden items is tied to their perception. Thanks. Some abilities specify they can interrupt a character when a character is hit with an interrupt their current action is lost along with any resources including quick items they were using interrupts can be blocked by concentration the character with concentration is hit by an interrupt they lose their concentration but are not interrupted all right and then you How do we use your, your stance ability? There we go. Fender stance. Alright. Yeah, sure. You need to You need to bounce. Could be a fight. You need to bounce. Alrighty. Oh, he back. Run away. Nope, you did. Okay. That was tragic. Thank goodness for auto saves. I shot. Stop walking in sound. Back here. Happy to oblige. Well, actually, what can I do? All right. I'll go up here. Let's trigger this fight. Oh, right. They did. He did want a peaceful solution, didn't he? Let's see. Oh, okay, okay. We we good. Let's see. It's like you're automatically casting. Like you're getting bodied as well. Yep, thanks for that again. Uh, let's heal. Okay. Getting destroyed again. Oh, you're dead. All things must come to an end, even me. No one knows. 
Jody's done for. Oh, come on. Hey. Okay. All righty. This is going to be um, a little tough. Let's try this one more time. Those gunners hit like trucks. They basically three shot me. Keep it down. Maybe if I went over here. Reposition the party here. Alright, perfect. you to heal him. Oh, Wish I could have done something. Right, and then you Okay. Being destroyed. You gotta be more careful. <laughs> Get on my pretties. Can you chant faster, please? Alrighty. I'm in skeletons. your cast. Wonderful. Alright, we're out of spells, too. Sure, let's do that. You are going to the defensive stance. Some skeletons, please. Out of my AOE. Attack, bro. Wait, why aren't you attacking? Darkest before dawn. 
I'll take care of this. Yes? Keeping an eye out. Of course. Okay, I automatically looted all that, so... Oof! That fight was difficult. I can make a drug. Can pickpocket from a ghost. Kind of hilarious. Ooh. What do we have here? Street thug. Right. Uh, reposition. Up out of stealth. Approach. Oh, huzzah! Careful. One bad step out here, and you drown, Naimiko. The young elf's hand drops to the pistol on his belt, palming the grip. The faintest hit, hint of a sneer plays about his lips as he watches you unblinkingly. Um, What are you doing here? Ekosi, this is my street. That doesn't change after a little rain. That storm speaker, she didn't concern herself much with this place, did she? He kicks at the water, splashing noisily. Me and my gang, we keep the peace here, and the locals pay their dues. Nothing here now but what they left behind. Savia sent me. She needs you to put a stop to the looting. Lari snorts, his nose wrinkling. He regards you for a moment longer in expectant silence. Then he throws his head back, letting out a braying, unpleasant laugh. She must be desperate. Not so desperate as to come here on her knees to beg for herself, but she sent you. No, there's my answer. I get my cut. There's no sense in ruining a good thing. Hmm. Help her out this once, and Savia will owe you a favor. A favor? <laughs> Merle, I should buy a dinner. Maybe. Mid Chordo Lara's brow Lara's brows draw together. He rub he runs a thumb along his jaw, frowning. Done. I'll do it. Bon Piaco. Can't be too bad, having a commander in your pocket. Tell Savia this isn't permanent. Second the water clears up and things are back to normal, we are through. I'll spread the word. Gorechi Street is under a lawful protection now. E Nothing but endless grime yeast. This is not the afterlife I was promised. Turns out there's a lot they don't tell you. Hmm. You seem to know where you are going. Soul crosses ethereal arms over her chest. Watcher, you're talking to a lost soul, aren't you? I'll just shine them the light real quick. The lantern rattles as Joti swings it over overzealously between you, siphoning in the spirit's essence. I don't know if I want to concern myself with all that. I should probably uh, put on some new equipment, though, because we got some new equipment. Like this necklace. Exception. Oh, we want to get rid of that. Give you that. And then you can get this religion necklace.
Make you better at religion. Hmm. Um... Anything else that I can equip on you? Sort by armor. Basically the same thing. Okay. Adair, look what the Watcher's given me. It's pretty as a picture, ain't it? Well, that's it. Not so difficult. Let's go to the jail. <laughs>